What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Blake's Take with yours truly, Blake Neiman. And we are in a very different setting today. As you can see, we are at the Oregon coast currently taking a little vacation with the family. But we got to still keep up on the Blake's Take grind, even uh, with the vacation at the end of the summer. But it's because we got to talk about some college football. It's grown more than ever with NIL rules and college football playoff expansion. Conferences have taken on a life of their own especially the SEC, who has already dominated the face of college football with schools like Alabama, LSU, Georgia, and Florida, to name a few. But now, with the additions of Texas and Oklahoma, the SEC's brand has grown larger than ever before with the Power Five conferences, and it's not even close. Although these conferences may not have enough brand power by themselves, they joined forces it would pose a much larger threat to the SEC with good matchups to go all around. That's just what the Big Ten, ACC, and Pac-12 did in an alliance that will include a scheduling component for both football and men's and women's basketball with the intent to create a new interconference games, enhancing opportunities for student-athletes and to optimize the college athletics experience for both student-athletes and fans across the country. Big Ten Commissioner Kevin Warren said in a statement, student athletes have been and will remain the focal point of the alliance. We furthered our commitment to our student athletes by prioritizing our academics and athletics value systems. We are creating opportunities for student athletes to have elite competition and are taking the necessary steps to shape and stabilize the future of college athletics. Although not formally released by the press, One would assume that through this alliance, the Big Ten, Pac-12, and ACC will all focus on the scheduling non-conference games against one another, potentially shutting out the SEC from their schedule. Obviously, this will not be able to do. They will not be able to do this and put it into effect right away, as many teams already have highly anticipated non-conference games in the coming seasons, like this year with the Oregon Ducks taking on the Ohio State Buckeyes. Yet. There is a catch to this super alliance. None of it will be written in pen and paper. Rather, the three commissioners have made a gentleman's agreement, according to our new Pac-12 commissioner, George Kivikoff. 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 This is a problem because shall anything go wrong in the process or one their one of their institutions not hold up their end of the bargain, legally, nothing can be done. This needs to be legally documented so that no one will get robbed of their money, game, or potentially more. Honestly, Tuesday's news creates more questions for the future of college sports, namely college football, than it provides answers. The first question that comes to my mind is, will we even see the conferences associated with the NCAA much longer? With the new NIL laws, the NCAA has lost its large grip on student-athletes and their institutions. They are now free to build their own brands as big as they would like, which in my opinion foreshadows the Power Five separating themselves from the NCAA, forming their own league slash alternate route to the pros. This brings up a follow-up point of what does this mean for the college football playoff? Over the course of the past five years, the the 12-team format could be totally implemented with the with the new uh, new schedule and the new uh, meaning that they've had to try and get a 12-team format. But it's going to be difficult within the next five years with how drastically we have just seen these changes just this year in 2021. What will the Big 12 look like five years from now? What will the Pac-12 look like? Could it be the Pac-16 p- expansion, possibly? What will the Big 10 do to up their game to follow up the SEC? There are lots of hypothetical scenarios in the coming years of college football. I believe by the end of the decade, the sport is going to be an entirely different game that we are currently witnessing. So it's going to be crazy, crazy. But the alliance, I think, really helps balance out college football. The SEC added two huge brands in Oklahoma and Texas. So the Pac-12, ACC, and Big Ten. If you can't beat them, you got to join them together. So they joined the forces, and they are going to try and up their battle with the SEC with huge big-time games without a non-conference, which will hopefully bring more attention to them and as well to the SEC and kind of balance things versus SEC and the rest of the field. Hopefully all you enjoyed. 
please uh, catch all, it all and more on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and or YouTube. Hit that subscribe button, like, check it out on TikTok, at Blake's Take, all in the socials will be linked in the description. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a great day.